In question four, we're told a sequence a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on, is defined by a sub 1 is equal to 4, a sub n plus 1 is equal to k, multiplied by a sub n plus 2, for n equal to or greater than 1, where k is a constant. In part a, we need to find an expression for a sub 2 in terms of k. The question carries one mark. If we consider when n is equal to 1, sub in in, we will have a sub 2 will be equal to k lots of a sub 1 plus 2. We know that a sub 1 is equal to 4, so we can say a sub 2 is k lots of 4 plus 2, so we can say that a sub 2 will be 6k. So there's now our expression in terms of k for a sub 2. Given the sum from i equals 1 to 3 of a sub i is equal to 2, in part b we need to find the two possible values of k. So if we consider now with summing from 1 to 3, I already have a sub 1 and a sub 2. So what we need to do is find a sub 3. So when n is equal to 2, a sub 3 will be equal to k lots of a sub 2 plus 2. Here's our expression for a sub 2. So we can see that a sub 3 is going to be k lots of 6k plus 2. If we now consider what we have, we've got a sub 1, that gives us 4. We've got a sub 2, which is going to be 6k. And we have now a sub 3. And if I expand this out, we're going to have now 6k squared plus 2k. Therefore, I can add this together and set it equal to 2. So just writing down, we have now 6k squared plus 2k plus another 6k plus the 4 will be equal to 2. I'm simply summing a sub 1, a sub 2 and a sub 3. So if we tidy this up, we have 6k squared plus 8k plus 2 is equal to 0. I can divide the equation by 2. We would have 3k squared plus 4k plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic in k that we can factor and we'll have now 3k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 is equal to 0. So solving for k, we can see that k would be equal to minus 1 third or k would be equal to minus 1. This gives us our two possible values of k and there are six marks in total.